Life is a winding road. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did a little thrift shopping the other day and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up getting. A lot of these items I am going to be redoing because I like to make them my own and this is the cheapest inexpensive way for you guys to find things that you might not necessarily like but you can change it. And it's just paint can do wonders. I'm telling you, it can do wonders. But let's get on with this video so I can show you what I ended up getting. So I got this at the garage sale. Obviously, you can tell it's a mirror. You can see my paint tray there. I'm in my crafting room while I'm videotaping. That's why you can see all that. But it's like a flower. It's a mirror. I figure I'm going to paint this either white or yellow. I don't know yet. That's why I haven't done it yet. Plus, I wanted to show you anyways. But I thought it was really cute. I only got it for $5. Not bad. At a garage sale. Also at the same garage sale, I got these mason jars. It has like a blue tint to it, but I really love these lids. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. It needs to be cleaned out and everything because it's dirty. But I got two of them. Aren't they cute? Very farmhouse. And obviously, you know, these are my colors. Don't know what I'm going to do yet, but... They were only $2 each, and I couldn't buy past it. I also picked out this from the same garage sale. I figure I can put some flowers in it, but I really like this wood tone to it. It's really different. You can see the texture of the wood. I don't know. I thought it was really pretty. I'm guessing it's supposed to be like a tool set, maybe. I picked it up for a dollar. So... For that whole garage sale, I picked this up for a dollar, two dollars each, so what is that? Four, five, and then the mirror was five, so I spent ten dollars all together at the garage sale, which I don't think is bad at all for all that stuff. I mean, if you would have bought the this at the store or this at the like Michaels or whatever, I'm sure this would be like five dollars by itself, and the mirror would probably be what. $15. So I think I did a really good job at, you know, garage selling here. And I'm going to make all this my own. I'll probably end up doing a video on it. If not, I'll show you guys whatever I've done to it. Now the other things that I ended up getting was from the thrift store. I picked up some of these coasters. You can redo them. I'm going to redo them. I know they're Christmassy, but this was only... It says $2.99, but they were having a sale, so I think I got it for a dollar, I think, if I can remember. I'm going to be redoing these. I'm probably making them like farmhouse type, but use the Waverly chalk paint and just paint them and then use my Cricut machine and maybe put some cows or chickens or maybe I'll just even put our initials on it. I just thought it was really cute and for a dollar, can't beat it. And then look at this. I found this at our thrift store. It looks brand new. Doesn't it? I mean, look at the vibrant colors. And I thought it was just so cute. Even though it's not fall yet. You know, you, your girl loves fall. I've been telling you guys, I don't know how long now, but I've been saying I like fall. And I got it for $2.99. I think this was, oh my gosh, this is from Hobby Lobby. And it doesn't tell you the price, but I'm sure you're spending more than, how much? $3 for this. You're probably spending maybe $10 at Hobby Lobby with the 50% off. So, somebody just, guess didn't like it anymore. They changed their style. I don't know. But I picked it up, and I liked it. I thought it was adorable. So, yeah, that was my quick thrift slash garage sale haul. If you like these type of videos, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.